Thank you, Johnny Gilbert, and thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. Let's take you right now into the Jeopardy round. Clues are worth $200 to $1,000 in these categories. British poetry, cats, catching some Zs, note the quotation marks, state the park's state, movie kisses, and recently discovered presidential ads. Player one, make us number one of these by Shakespeare, from fairest creatures we desire increase, urges a handsome man to have kids. What is a sonnet? Yes, player one. Hey, you're right. <laughs> player one. Lord Byron was a major influence on this later poet lord who wrote 1842's The Lord of Burley. Oh, who was yes, player one. Yeah. Right you are. <laughs> Player Lake one. asked, Little this, who made thee? Gave thee clothing of delight, softest clothing, woolly, bright. Okay. Okay, Player One. I'm going to say who is Little Lady. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Please. Leaving his girl for his duty, Lovelace wrote, I could not love thee dear so much, loved I not this more. Yes, player one? What is honor? That's correct. <laughs> player one. This British poet got romantic about La Belle Dame Sans Merci. La Belle Dame Sans Merci. It's player one. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? Ooh. We're talking about John Keats. Oh, John Keats, okay. I'll take, uh, Player I'll one, take back to you. Each defender guards a section of the playing area in this system of sports defense. What is a zone? Yes, player one? Come to think of it, I think it's all these clues. That is correct. <laughs> Please. This Italian squash can be eaten raw, steamed, or grilled, or baked in a sweet bread. What is zucchini? Player one? That's correct. <laughs> Player Two one? Two-word term for the weightlessness experienced by astronauts in orbit. What is zero gravity? Player one? Correct. <laughs> Player one. Let's go over to Kelly. It's the point on the celestial sphere vertically above a given position. What is a zenith? Let's hear it, player one. Yeah. Right. <laughs> player the one. The people move to higher ground during the annual flooding of this African river. What is the Zambezi River? It's player one. <laughs> you are correct. Yeah. Woo. 
You get to pick again. The fact that a cat can land upon its feet without injury gave rise to the myth that cats have this many lives. What is nine? It's player one. Yes! <laughs> you, the Korat breed from Thailand is usually this color of some Olympic medals. It's player one. What is silver? Yeah! You are correct. <laughs> We re the mass killing of cats in the 14th century helped spread this disease carried by rat fleas. What is the bubonic plague? Yes, player one. Woo! Right. <laughs> Short-haired cats were derived from the Khafre cat, which was domesticated by this ancient civilization. What is Egypt? It's player one. Good for you. <laughs> We, this Asian named cat is produced by mating Siamese and long hairs, and then selectively breeding them. What is it, a Persian cat? Okay, player one. Oh. Oh. Any other takers? Ooh. It's player two. Himalayan. Hey, you're right. <laughs> Player two, you start us off. All right. Longhorn Cavern State Park. I better get this one right. Yes, player one. What is Texas? You got it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Woo. San Simeon State Park. San Simeon State Park. Okay, player one. I think San Simeon State Park would be in Maine. Oh. Nope. Oh. Sorry. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? Let's hear it, player three. Good. <laughs> a lot of clues, a lot of categories, player three. Make us Manatee Springs State Park. I'm going to say that's in Florida. It's player one. I'm guessing Florida. That <laughs> is correct. Yeah! yeah. Woo. Uh, Cumberland Falls State Resort Park. Cumberland Falls State Resort Park. Let's hear it, player one. I'm going to say Kentucky. That's Woo. correct. Player Crater one. of Diamonds State Park. Crater of Diamonds State Park? Okay, player one. Sorry, that's wrong. Any other takers? Is it Arkansas? Here's the response we were looking for Arkansas. Please pick a He said kissing Kristen Dunst upside down in the rain was the hardest thing he's done as Spider-Man. Who is Toby Maguire? Player one? Woo! Yes. <laughs> so into have and have not, she kisses Bogart and says, it's even better when you help. Who is Lauren McCall? Yes, player one? <laughs> right. <laughs> Player one. A mutt and a cocker spaniel slurp spaghetti and smooch in this 1955 classic. What is Lady in the Tramp? Okay, player one. I should know. I've seen that movie hundreds of times. That's correct. <laughs> player one. 1940s classic film in which the heroine says, Kiss me. Kiss me as if it were the last time. Mm. It's player one. Okay. Good. <laughs> Player 1981 one. drama in which Norman Thayer asks wife Ethel, Want to dance? Or would you rather just suck face? What is on Golden Pond? Let's hear it, Player One. Yeah. Right you are. <laughs> Player One. He said a nation half slave and half free can't exist. I say he's wrong. I'm Stephen Douglas, and I approve this message. Player one? Yeah. That's correct. <laughs> Player so one. what if he's the first West Point grad president? Some say he drinks. You decide. I'm Horace Greeley, and I approve this message. It's player one. Uh, Ulysses Grant, that's who I was thinking, so... Or no, it may not be him. Uh, no, I'll go with it. Yeah, good. <laughs>
Player in one? 1814, this general had a pirate, Jean Lafitte, help him in New Orleans. What's next? I'm John Quincy Adams, and I approved this message. Let's hear it, Player One. I'm going for Andrew. Yes. <laughs> we you elect him? I say in seven months the economy will be in shambles. I'm Al Smith, and I approve this message. Let's hear it, Player One. Yes. Yeah! <laughs> Let's have a look at the thousand dollar clue. It's the Daily Double. You are currently and the Daily Double clue. Alex Hamilton wants him to be president. Them's fighting words. I'm Aaron Burr, and I approve this message. I'm going to say who is... I'm going to say who is Thomas Jefferson. You have maintained your lead. Way to go. Player 3 is going first in double jeopardy when we come back following this. Categories for double jeopardy round are... Literature. This side of parasites. World leaders. Entertainment history. Around the world. And Conjunction Junction. What's your player three? Start us. In 1999, Thabo Mbegi, who fought to eliminate apartheid, became leader of this country. Uh, what is South Africa? Player one? Correct. <laughs> player one? Wu Jintao became the general secretary of the Communist Party in 2002 and leader of this country in 2003. Let's hear it, player one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Woo. And here's Jimmy. The country whose flag is seen here elected its first female chancellor in 2005. What is your Player one? Yeah. That's right. Way to go. <laughs> player in one. 2006, Stephen Harper of this country's conservative party became its prime minister. It's player one. I'm going to say what is Australia. No. Oh. Sorry. Any other takers? I didn't think it was Canada because Justin Trudeau is their prime is Canada's prime minister. Here's what we were looking for. Canada. Oh, it was Canada? Oh, okay. Player one. In 2008. Oh. Tillman Thomas became Prime Minister of this Caribbean country, invaded by the U.S. in 1983. Okay, player one? I'm going to say what is... No. Oh. Any other takers? It's not Panama, because that's in Central America. Here's the correct response. Grenada. It's Grenada, okay. I knew it wasn't Panama. Player one, back to oh, you. Give me around the world. In 1994, Jordan signed a peace treaty with this country, ending the official state of war between them. What is Iraq? Player one? Ooh. Sorry. <laughs> Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? Here is what we wanted. Israel. Israel. All right. It's okay. Player one. In 1903, Panama declared its independence from this country. What is Colombia? It's player one. Correct. <laughs> Select. Let's take it over to Sarah. Forgotten for centuries, this Incan royal retreat was rediscovered by Hiram Bingham in 1911. What is Machu Picchu? Yes, player one? That is correct. <laughs> player one? Principalities of Moldavia and Wallachia were joined together to form this country in the 19th century. What is the Maldives? Okay, player one? No? Moldavia and Wallachia formed this country. Uh, I'll just say... I'll just say what is... Uh, Romania? 
Dracula? <laughs> Layer one. Yeah. Answer. The first of the daily doubles. You are in the lead. Right here is your daily double clue. The capital of this Pacific Island Kingdom is Nukualofa. Not Papua New Guinea. It's not Samoa. I'm going to go for Tonga. You have maintained your lead. Here you go. You get to pick again, player one. Conjunction Junction. What's your function for 400? This two-letter word is also a Pacific Northwest State's postal abbreviation. What player one. Right you are. <laughs> you get this conjunction comes before rain, heat, and gloom of night in the United States Postal Service credo. What is nor? Yes, player one. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Woo. So let's take away an eye from the end of a fabled Himalayan creature, and you get this conjunction. What is yet? Player one. Hey, you're right. <laughs> so this three-letter conjunction is commonly replaced by a symbol in Jeopardy clues. What is uh, ant? Let's hear it, player one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> player this one. This conjunction is also the symbol for a poisonous element. It's well, player yes. one. <laughs> yep. <laughs> You again, player one. Born William Claude Dukenfield, he took this last name as his stage name. William Claude Dukenfield. Okay, player one. What is uh, WC? What is B? You are <laughs> correct. Please dance style of brothers and Kennedy Center honorees, Fayard and Harold Nicholas. Let's hear it, player one. What is Fulmer? Oh. Anyone else? That's all right. It's okay. Here's the correct response. Tap. Oh, tap dancing. You again, player one. In vaudeville, Jerry, Helen, Josephine, and George M. were the four these. Player one? Right. <laughs> Player Rochester, did you know that in 1953, Harry Shearer played this comic as a boy on his self-titled TV program? Okay, Player one? Who is, um, Jack, Jack Benny? That is correct. <laughs> We Kathy Lewis was this title character paired with Fibber McGee on a 50s TV show based on a hit radio show. Who is Molly? Yes, player one. That's correct. <laughs> player one. At the end of this novel, Reverend Dimsdale reveals publicly that he is the father of Hester Prynne's daughter. Yes, player one. What is... No. Anyone else? It's player three. Good. <laughs> player three, you start us off. This character's first literary appearance was in the tragic drama The Seducer of Seville. Let's hear it, player one. Yes. <laughs> Player one. He wrote the 2001, 2010, 2061, and 3001 Odyssey books. Uh, who is Arthur C. Clarke? Let's hear it, Player One. Correct. <laughs> Player One. This Neville Shute novel depicts the coming annihilation of the human race after a nuclear war. Yes, Player One. Yes. <laughs> so 
<laughs> Answer. <laughs> the other daily double. You are in first place. Player one, give us a wager. The clue. The title of this 1985 Bobby Ann Mason novel refers to the time a soldier spent in Vietnam. What is in country? You have maintained your lead. Way to go. You get to... When a tiny parasite enters an oyster's shell, mantle cells cover it with nacre until this is formed. Okay, player one. What is a plant? That is correct. <laughs> yeah! Woo! We, this plant grows as a parasite on apple tree trunks, blooms in February and March, yet still is a factor in Christmas kisses. What is mistletoe? It's player one. Right. <laughs> player Ian. one. PSI is a charity delivering nets to fight this parasite-caused disease that kills 3,000 African children a day. What is the TT fly? Let's hear it, player one. Or, no, it's malaria. Right. <laughs> Select again. You can vent this soft ductless organ that fights infection with parasite detection. What is a spleen, your spleen? Player one. Good. Yeah! <laughs> and now the $2,000 clue. Closely related to meningitis, this inflammation of the brain can result from viral infections or tiny parasites. Player one? What is encephalitis? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Good game. All of you will continue on to play Final Jeopardy when we return. Now, Final Jeopardy coming right up right now with this category. Poets. Oh boy. Please enter your wager. The final Jeopardy clue is, fired from a job for laziness, he wrote, I lean and loaf at my ease, observing a spear of summer grass. What did you say? William Wordsworth. And that will set you back. Did you come up with the correct response? Where, Ralph Waldo Emerson? And that will set you back. I'm wrong too. So I'm going to drop to $12,000. What did you put as your response? But I'm still the winner nonetheless. And that will cost you. Oh well. The correct response is Walt Whitman. You've come out ahead as our champion, <laughs> player one. I'll see you all for the next game right after this. So long. <laughs>